All right, so you're thinking about getting an e-bike, <laughs> and uh, you're faced with this choice, Bosch. They're reliable, you know, veteran. <laughs> Pinion with their intriguing gearbox motor, or DJI. Wait, who's DJI? It's a lot to process, right? But don't worry, that's what we're here for. Today, we're gonna unpack this whole e-bike motor landscape using some awesome test ride data from Rob Ride's EMTB. And what makes this deep dive particularly exciting is that Rob didn't just compare specs on paper. He put these systems through their paces on an actual mountain bike course. We're yeah. talking Bosch Gen 5, Pinion's MGU, yeah. and DJI's AHOC system, all head to head. Exactly. It's one thing to read about watts and torque. Yeah. But feeling how these systems perform in the real world mm. is a whole different ballgame. And to kick things off, right, put them through a hill climb challenge. And this wasn't just any hill climb. Rob specifically chose a route that gets progressively steeper, yeah. pushing the motors to their limits in a way that even typical off road riding might not. It's a real test of their strength and efficiency. So, gum roll, please. The DJI system absolutely crushed it. It clocked in at a mind-blowing 26.89 seconds. Almost seven seconds faster than the Bosch. I mean, can you imagine just blasting up any climb like that? It's certainly an attention-grabbing result, especially for those who crave power, but it also raises some interesting questions. What makes the DJI so much faster? And is all that power actually manageable for the average rider? Okay, so let's unpack this. What is it about the DJI system that allows it to just decimate the competition on a hill climb like that? Well, if we dig into the specs, the answer becomes pretty clear. The DJI boasts a peak power output of 1,000 watts and a staggering 120 newton meters of torque. To put that in perspective, mm -hmm. the Bosch clocks in at 600 watts and 85 newton meters of torque, while the Pinion offers 600 watts and 160 newton meters. Mm -hmm. The DJI is just on another level in terms of raw power. And to really drive home how powerful this thing is, Rob actually ran out of boost mode on the DJI because he hit the time limit before the boost ran out. He was practically Oops. flying up that hill. This actually highlights a crucial point. Power isn't everything. While the DJI's performance is undeniably impressive, it could be overwhelming for some riders particularly those who are new to e-bikes. It's like having a sports car engine in a bicycle frame. Okay, I can see how all that power could be a bit much for a beginner. But for an experienced rider, wouldn't that be part of the appeal? Imagine conquering any climb with ease, effortlessly zipping up trails that would have left you winded before. Doesn't that sound like a blast? There's definitely a certain thrill that comes with having that kind of power at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. But it also requires a higher level of skill and control to manage it safely and effectively. It's a trade-off that potential buyers need to consider carefully based on their own riding experience and comfort level. That makes sense. So it's not just about chasing the biggest numbers on the spec sheet. It's about finding the right balance of power and control for your individual needs. Exactly. And to understand that balance, let's take a closer look at each of these systems, starting with the DJI, the clear powerhouse of the bunch. Perfect. Let's break down what makes this system so unique and who it might be the best fit for. This DJI system, it's like the tech lover's dream when it comes to e-bikes. It's not just about power, but also about those cool features mm -hmm. that integrate seamlessly with your ride. You're telling me that push screen display built right into the top tube is straight out of a sci-fi movie. It's like having a high-tech command center on your bike. It's not just about aesthetics, though. That display is incredibly functional, giving you all sorts of information beyond just speed and distance. Think power output, battery consumption, even navigation. It's basically like having a smartphone-level interface, which yeah. mo most e-bikes just don't offer. So for someone who's into gadgets and data, the DJI system sounds like a perfect match. But what about the wireless controls? That's a pretty bold move. Yeah. Ditching the cables. Are there any reliability concerns with that? It's a fair question, especially if you're used to traditional bike setups. But DJI has a strong track record in wireless technology, particularly with their drones. They've implemented robust protocols to minimize interference and ensure a stable connection between the controls and the motor. So no worries about the signal dropping out mid-ride, just as you're tackling a tricky section. Ideally not. Of course, with any wireless system, there's always a slight chance of unforeseen issues. But based on DJI's reputation and the feedback we're seeing, the wireless system seems to be performing well in real-world conditions. All right, so the DJI is powerful, yeah. tech-forward, and sleek. But let's shift gears now and talk about the, the pinion system. This one is fascinating because it takes a completely different approach yeah. with its gearbox technology. The Pinion MGU, which stands for a motor gearbox unit, is like the rebel of the e-bike world. It ditches the traditional cassette and derailleur, 
opting instead for a carbon belt drive and a 12-speed gearbox integrated right into the motor. Okay, for those of us who aren't gearheads, can you break down what that actually means for the riding experience? Imagine this. No more greasy chains. No more finicky derailleur adjustments. The carbon belt drive is incredibly durable and requires minimal upkeep, making it perfect for those who prioritize low maintenance. So it's like the set it and forget it option for e-bikes. Exactly. And there's another benefit to the Pinion's unique design, weight distribution. By centralizing the weight low and in the middle of the bike, you get improved handling and stability, especially on technical trails. But it's not just about mechanics, right? Mm -hmm. The Pinion system also boasts some pretty impressive electronic features. Absolutely. The shifting yeah. is fully electronic, which means you can change gears even when standing still. This is a game changer for those awkward starts on steep hills yeah. where you're fumbling with shifters <laughs> yeah. while trying to maintain balance. Plus, it's got an auto shift feature, right? That sounds almost too good to be true. The auto shift is a fantastic feature for those who want to simplify their ride. Sensors monitor your cadence and the terrain, automatically selecting the optimal gear for the situation. It's like having a personal cycling assistant. But wouldn't that take away some of the control and engagement that many cyclists enjoy? Isn't part of the fun choosing the right gear for the terrain? That's a valid concern, and that's why the pinion system allows you to switch between manual and auto shift modes. You have the flexibility to choose how involved you want to be in the gear selection process. So it's the best of both worlds. Convenience when you want it, and control when you need it. But there's one thing we haven't addressed yet. The noise. Rob mentioned that the pinion system can be quite noisy, especially at lower gears. It's Is that a deal breaker for some riders? Noise is definitely subjective. What one person finds annoying, another might not even notice. But if you're someone who cherishes the peace and quiet of nature while riding, that constant whirring might get old fast. Especially on those long scenic rides. Yeah. We were trying to escape the hustle and bustle. Exactly. It's worth noting, though, that Pinion has been working to refine their gearbox technology, and newer generations are reportedly quieter, so it's something to keep an eye on yeah. as the technology evolves. Okay, so we've got the powerhouse DJI and the innovative pinion. Now let's turn our attention to the tried and true option, the Bosch system. This one has a reputation for reliability and refinement, right? Bosch is like the steady, dependable workhorse of the e-bike world. They've been refining their technology for years, focusing on smooth, controlled power delivery and ease of use. Their Gen 5 motor is a prime example of that. Okay, so let's say I'm out there. I've been listening to you guys. I've been absorbing all this info about these motors. What are the like, big questions I should be asking myself to kind of narrow it down? Well, I think the first question is all about, you know, what kind of riding do you do? What's the terrain like that you're typically riding on? Um, are you someone who prefers which is leisurely cruises on paved paths? Or do you really crave that challenge of those steep technical trails? Are you all about speed and power? Or do you prioritize a smooth, quiet ride? It's kind of like choosing a car, right? Mm. You're not going to buy like a sports car. Mm. You mainly drive on dirt roads. Yeah. So how do these different motor systems then align with those different riding styles. So if you're drawn to the power and the adrenaline of tackling challenging terrain, that DJI system with its incredible torque and responsiveness might ride up your alley. Imagine conquering those steep climbs that used to leave you gasping for air, effortlessly powering through technical sections. It's like having an unfair advantage on the trails. I could see the appeal for sure. Uh, but what if you were more of a casual rider? Yeah. who prioritizes comfort and ease of use. Then the Bosch system might be a better fit. It's a uh, smooth, controlled power delivery and quiet operation make for a very pleasant riding experience, especially on those long leisurely rides. You can just relax and enjoy the scenery without feeling like you're wrestling with the motor. Okay. And what about Pinion? Where does that fit in? Well, the Pinion system I think is a great option for those who value low maintenance and a clean, minimalist setup. The carbon belt drive mm. and integrated gearbox are incredibly durable, and they require minimal upkeep. Plus, that electronic shifting is super smooth and precise, even when you're standing still. So for someone who just wants to spend more time riding yeah, and less time tinkering, Pinion sounds like a winner. Exactly. But there's another key factor to consider, and that's personal preference. You're talking about things like Pareka, the tech features. Hmm. The overall aesthetics, mm -hmm. the feel of the ride. Exactly. Some riders might be drawn to the DJI system's sleek integration and that awesome touchscreen display. They love having all that data at their fingertips and the ability to you know, customize their ride. Others might prioritize the Pinion's silent operation 
and smooth, consistent power delivery. And still others might appreciate the Bosch system's familiarity and proven track record of reliability. So it's not just about the, you know, objective performance of the motor, mm. but it's about how the system makes you feel when you're riding. It really is. I think that's a perfect way to wrap this up. At the end of the day, the perfect e bike motor mm -hmm. isn't the one that wins the hill climb challenge mm -hmm. or boasts the most impressive specs. It's one that makes you want to get out there and ride more often. I couldn't have said it better myself. I think this deep dive has, yeah. you know, <laughs> given it kind of a solid foundation of knowledge. But the final decision really does come down to your individual needs, preferences, and how each system resonates with you personally. So to our listener out there who's been contemplating these e-bike options, just remember, there's no right or wrong answer here. Trust your instincts, do your research, and most importantly, enjoy the journey of finding the perfect e-bike for you. And once you find that perfect match, Get out there and experience the joy of effortless riding. Explore new trails and rediscover the yeah. simple pleasure of being on two wheels. Happy riding, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>